Hi guys, this is Karthik. Welcome to Ethical Hacking and Cyber Security course. In this nugget, I'm going to get, walk you through the whole course and whom, for whom is this course meant for. Okay, so this course is meant for those professionals who are looking for comprehensive and total knowledge in security domain. This is the only course which teaches both hacking and prevention techniques. And keeping with industrial standard, this course is entirely hands-on and real-time oriented. I am an InfoSec enthusiastic, an ethical hacker and a web developer as well. And I help few organizations in improving their web security by penetration testing and gave trainings in many universities and colleges and trained more than 2000 people nationally and internationally. Okay, so I'm going to get you through the course outline, whatever we are going to learn in this whole course. First, we are going to get through this 20 modules, uh, right from ethical hacking to cryptography. We are going to get through this 20 modules. Before getting into ethical hacking, we need to know what networking, what is system and uh, you know what is internet etc because if you want to hack any network or if you want to hack any system you need to know what network is and you need to know what system is first right so we are going to learn networking concepts and system basic concepts and then we are going to get into this 20 modules okay so after getting into this 20 modules we are going to see OASP, Open Web Application Security Project. These are the top 10 vulnerabilities available in web application. So we are going to do each and everything practically. And uh, I'm going to get you through this course content. First, introduction to ethical hacking. In introduction to ethical hacking, we are going to see types of hackers uh, who are hiring ethical hackers. Why do we need ethical hackers, etc. Types of hackers. So, and next module, in second module, we are going to see footprinting and recognizance. It is also called as information gathering. So, we are going to see the information gathering. We have different set of tools and uh, techniques. We are going to see that them. And then we are going to get into scanning networks. In scanning phase, we are going to scan system, web application, everything. We are going to scan our networks, etc. And then we are going to get into enumeration. In enumeration, we are going to see the advanced information gathering. And then in system hacking, we are going to hack a live window system and take gain access of that system. Okay. And in malware threats, we are going to see virus, worms, torsions, uh, adware, spywares, etc. So each and everything we are going to create our own virus, we are, we are going to create our own worms, we are going to create our own trojans, we are going to create our own spywares like that. We are going to do it totally hands-on, practically. Okay, and then sniffing. In sniffing, sniffing means, uh, you know, you eavesdropping, you monitoring someone's uh, devices which are connected to network. Because the biggest threat for an organization is insider threat okay so when when a black hat hacker when an illegal hacker okay who's having malicious intent few people will be joining into organization and uh, they'll be leaking this information of organization to others outside in dark web or somewhere they'll be selling out the sensitive information of that organization so in an organization there will be few people who will be monitoring the network in order to avoid these these things where well, you know their employees selling out the data sensitive data won't go outside the organization they make sure that they monitor each and every device by sniffing so we are going to use wireshark tool in order uh, to sniff and then in social engineering we are going to see phishing attack phishing attack means we are going to create our own fake web page like facebook gmail etc and if we send this uh, web page link to our victim, if they open it, they cannot differentiate between actual web page and a fake web page which we have sent. So when they type in username and password, then those username and password will be saved inside our computer. Okay, that is called phishing attack. 
taking confidential information of uh, users of our victims and then next we are going to get into denial of service in denial of service means there is a website for every website there will be a server for every server there will be a bandwidth okay so let's say there is a website with the server which is having bandwidth uh, where it can accept thousand requests at a time then as a hacker I'll be sending 10,000 requests and when I send the 10,000 requests I'll fill the bandwidth of that website so whenever uh, actual user tries to send tries to send a request to that uh, website that server won't be able to accept that request okay so it will deny the request that is denial of service we are going to see that denial of service practically and then session hijacking session hijacking means uh, you know if you log in inside some account maybe facebook gmail or any uh, any website where you log in when you log in you are sending your username and password to that uh, database so uh, it will compare your that website will compare your username and password with its database and if it is matching then it will log you inside that website right so when it does that it will authenticate you as an actual user okay as your owner of your account so when it is authenticating you it will give you a session id session id is like an id card for you okay this id will be stored in your browser why because whenever user logs in inside facebook and in a google chrome browser or firefox browser anywhere okay and if we close his browser and opens the browser pack his facebook or gmail account will be logged in because it won't get logged out because his session id is stored in his browser okay if hacker steals this session id it is called session hijacking when a hacker steals this session id he'll be able to he'll be able to log in inside your account without your username and password that is called session i session hijacking and next we are going to get into hacking web servers in hacking web server we are going to hack a uh, linux system remotely okay and then in vulnerability analysis we are going to see few tools which can uh, which can which has uh, you know attacks inbuilt so it will scan for this um, you know, it will it will scan the websites for the vulnerability so we'll be using those tools in order to scan for vulnerabilities um, example nessus acunix etc so vulnerability analysis tools and then we are going to get into hacking web applications uh, which is cross site scripting and sql injection we are going to learn two types of uh, two important types of attacks one is cross site scripting and sql injection in sql injection there are again subtopics like um, you know blind sql and sql map after finishing of your sql injection we are going to get into hacking wireless networks in hacking wireless network we are going to see how to hack a wi-fi okay and then next we are going to learn what is ids what is ips intrusion detection system intrusion prevention system firewalls types of firewalls and honeypots which are traps for hackers so we are going to learn what are they and then hacking mobile platforms like we are going to hack a mobile application lively okay uh, by creating a spyware by ourselves so we'll see that uh, hacking mobile app, uh, mobile phones and then uh, next we are going to get into iot hacking in iot hacking we are going to discuss what iot devices are and how why are these iot devices less secured okay and then we are going to get into cloud computing means cloud security so for example, if a hacker gets inside cloud storage of a particular organization, then how will this organization detect them, detect the hacker who, who is inside their cloud storage and take uh, throw him out of the network? How will they do that? What is the process? We are going to discuss about that in cloud security. And next, coming to cryptography, we are going to learn what is encryption, what is decryption, types of encryption methods, decryption methods, and asymmetric key, symmetric key, etc. 
these are the 20 modules we are going mostly we are going to going to see uh, real time scenarios and practical hands on experience you will be having hands on experience and then next we are going to get into oas top 10 in oas top 10 these are all top 10 vulnerabilities available in 2019 and 2020 okay, we, these are the top vulnerabilities available in market so we are going to do each and every attack practically and see it so this is about our course so hope you have enjoyed hope you find it interesting so thank you guys